Okay, so the coordinates of points P and Q are here, right? 2, 3, 14, 19, respectively. Calculate the length of the line PQ. So to work out the length of the line PQ, we use the idea of Pythagoras, okay? Um, and this formula works, right? So you've got to remember this for the test. So basically, it's x2 minus x1 all squared plus y2 minus y1 all squared. Okay, so the difference in x is difference in y's squared. So using Pythagoras, it's theorem, add two shorter sides basically, and then square root. Okay, this formula you need to remember. Now up here, you can call this maybe your first coordinate, so x1, y1, and then call this your second coordinate, x2, y2. Okay, so we sub those values into our square root. So we've got bracket x2, which is a 14, take away x1, which is 2, all squared, and then your y2, which is 19, take away your y1, which is 3, all squared. And the good thing is, use your calculator and we do all this in one go so um, 14 minus 2 squared plus 19 minus 3 squared and we get out 20 so that's formula you need to remember for the length find the gradient of a straight line so remember the gradient is looking at like the rise divided by the step, isn't it? Yeah, if you remember, rise divided by the step. And in terms of using the coordinates, if you remember, it is y2 minus y1. So the difference in y's, difference in y's, that gives you the, the rise. And then the step then is the difference in x's. So based on um, what up the, up here, the second coordinate, y2 is 19, y1 is 3. So we 19 take away 3, okay? Um, and then x2 is 14, x1 is 2, so 14 take away 2, okay? And literally, you know, you can be lazy and just do that. But um, to think about it, and you get out 4 thirds. That gives you the gradient, right? Now, let's read this carefully because it says find the gradient of the straight line which is perpendicular to PQ. Now, this is the gradient of PQ, right? So basically, suppose this is PQ here. Okay, the gradient of that would be four thirds, right? So the slope of that is four thirds, but we want the gradient which is perpendicular to it. So in other words, we want this, the gradient which is which is at right angles to it. So then we've got to use that result. The other result, m1, m2 equals two minus one. Okay, so two gradients here, we call these our gradients, our m values. When you times them together equals minus one, that means they're perpendicular. So if we take the first gradient to be four thirds, we can work out then the gradient which is perpendicular to it, this gradient. So all you've got to do here is just to work out M2, you're just going to take that over to the side. Lots of ways to do that. You could take the 3 up here in times. Yeah? Okay, because you divide them by 3, take it up in times by 3, and then because you've got the times by 4, you take the 4 over and divide. Okay? So that works out then to be minus 3 quarters.